Fast wireless. We all want it, but most of us don't have it. <laughs> What's up guys? This is Average Enthusiast and today we're going to take a look at the Ubiquiti Unify UAP AC Pro wireless access point. We're going to take a real world average home user approach at an install and see if this access point delivers on the promise of faster Wi-Fi speeds. There are plenty of websites and videos claiming this is one of the best APs you can buy, but we're going to find out if it lives up to the hype right now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna go test our speed on the current AT&T U-verse router. This is the five gigahertz connection I have set up for the U-verse router. Let's see what we get. All right, we're gonna choose the Nashville network hosted by Comcast. Okay, so 87 megabits download. Let's see how we do with the upload test. Seventy six point two seven up. We got to do better than that. Okay, so the first thing we got to go do is download the controller software from the Ubiquity website. We're using the Unify series. This is the AC Pro. I'm using a Mac, so obviously if you're using Windows or Linux, you'll choose one of those. All right, that's downloaded. Let's go ahead and start the install. Now let's launch the Unify controller and see what we get. All right, controllers up and running. We're gonna go ahead and click launch browser. Click the advance button, continue through all of this stuff. And here we go. Choose our country, time zone, central time for me. Do whatever works for you. All right, so it looks like my AP has been up on the network for about seven minutes. Here's its local IP address, model number, MAC address. Now we're gonna set up our network. Let's go with average enthusiast as our SSID. And for the password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know that's a horrible password. This is just for testing, I'll change it later. And so I've read that the guest access will dramatically decrease the performance of the AP. So I'm gonna leave that off to see what this can do straight out of the box. Go ahead and enter your password for administrator access. I'm gonna skip the cloud setup options for now. And there we go, let's sign in. So here we go, the controller sees that we have one device connected, which is our access point. Let's go ahead and click on it. All right, this is giving us basic information on the current status of the network. Shows us how many users are connected. Obviously none, just set it up. If we had enabled guest network, it would show up as how many guest users are connected. And in the configuration tab here, we have more options, but we're just gonna leave it all of this alone. We just wanna see what this thing can do straight out of the box. And as we've seen already, my area is absolutely packed with wireless networks, so we've got plenty of interference to deal with. Okay, let's go see if our SSID is broadcasting. It is, let's join it. All right, looks like we're connected. Let's give it a quick test. Good, and we're good to go. We're online. Now let's go run the speed test, see what we get. 
see if it's worth all the hype. We're gonna use the same Nashville Comcast server that we used last time. We want this to be apples to apples. So the first thing we see is ping is almost the same. One millisecond quicker. Whoa, that looks good. Might hit 200. So that download was pretty impressive. Let's see what we get on our upload test. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Well, there we have it. Looks like this AP delivers on its promise. Head down to the comments and let me know if you guys are using this access point as well and what your results were. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. See you next time.